the Clutter Free Home by Kathy Lip. So a place with your home understanding clutter. Um, no, part of the contents. Uh, the 10 principles of uh, clutter free home. Part one, the steps. Part two, the spaces. Um, and then living clutter free with kids. Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without and a final word. So, um, and at like, um, at the end, they do talk about Kathy Lips Clutter Free Academy. So, um, she has a course. Um, so it's just a bit of info about it at the end. So, um, the steps dedicate, dedicate, decide, declutter, um, do your thing. And then, uh, spaces, kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, office, and other space. So, uh, 10 principles of a clutter-free home. So, make clutter ma management a daily habit. Um, step, um, stop being reactive and um, start being proactive. Um, So it has the step and then um, explains it, uh, don't put it aside, put it away, stop being reactive, be proactive, so. So like in gray, ba gray background you got another person's um, story um, thing. Um, talks about her own kind of like um, process um, and having people over at her sp um, space and whatever so um, so she talks about comfortable creative and like cozy so like uh, she loves the idea of hiji the Danish art of making space cozy um, like other senses zones um, the 60% goal um, so like um, before this she's like has like focus room so like um, one room at a time don't go like all out gotta fix everything at once so like once you picked your focus room you're going to work on until it's 60% clutter free um, by 60 because you'll never be 100% clutter free. Um, how to like declutter, um, buying what you love, curation, the 11 R's of decorating on a budget. So remove, rehome, rediscover, repurpose, and so on. Um, and then for, like for each room it goes um you got kind of like the same setup of like um introducing it and then you go dedicate decide zones declutter do your thing um make your living war room work for you so five points um and so like she also has like this um list type of thing so like my top five so the top five uses of my living room the five ways i want to or i want my living room to feel my living room through my five senses so you have like um spots for each um sense um my living room's zone so this is where you could draw out your room and then it kind of um for each room it has that basic setup um, so yeah it's a, a different look at um, other other types of decluttering books um, like like with this one it helps you like um, help you prioritize like what that room is like for you instead of like just other books just like remove everything 
do it like this. <laughs> um, and um, this could be helpful if you're not big on the uh, Marie Kondo um, spark joy type of thing. Like I'm not saying no, don't do that, but you don't have to do that all the time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is just like keeping on top of everything. Um, it can also be an inspiration if you're doing that starting of decluttering, reorganizing type of thing. So it can be very helpful to some people. So, and I like some of the ideas in this, so different perspective type of thing. So yeah, the clutter-free home, happy readings.